Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil from Prodigy Productions and I welcome you to my first tutorial in English. I did a whole bunch of tutorials in German and I got a lot of requests from you guys to make a tutorial in English. Okay, so now I'll try it out and I hope you enjoy it and you understand my bad English. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the text to sand effect which you can find on my YouTube channel in my videos. We need the trap code form effect plugin and After Effects CS4 or CS5 or probably CS3. Okay, first of all we're going to create a new composition. We gonna name it text. Make in 768 by 158. Make it 25 frames per second and 3 seconds long. That's okay. First of all we're gonna create a text. We type in whatever we want. We're gonna center that with our title action save. Okay, and now we're gonna create a new solid. Make it black. Make com size hit OK. We're gonna select our solid hit S for the scale. We're gonna unselect this little button here and we're gonna change the value to like 106 or something so that our solid is a little bit bigger than our comp. We're gonna create an effect it's called ramp. Let's go to the effect generate ramp. Um, we're gonna move the black area to like here and the white area to like yeah what do we say like here. Okay now we're gonna animate this solid we're gonna hit P for the position, click the stopwatch on the first frame. We're gonna move it all out of our comp and we go to 3 seconds and move it all the way in. So, yeah. Okay, now we go to our text and we change the track mate to Luma inverted mate. So, as you can see, our text is now feathered out. So that's what we want. Okay, now we're gonna create a new solid, a uh, new composition. Sorry, we're gonna call this comp built up. Uh, the width is all right, and we're gonna change this little here to 576, 25 frames and three seconds works well. Now we're gonna make a new solid in this new comp. We're gonna make it pure you know, white. Hit OK. Make the ramp effect again. Effect generate ramp. Okay, so now we go to our solid. Hit S. Unselect this. And we're going to change the value to 200. So it's two times bigger than our comp. Okay, now we go to change our ramp to the black area should be on the right side and the white area should be on the left side. So. Okay, and now we're gonna animate our solid, hit P for the position, go to the first frame, hit the stopwatch and move it all the way out of our comp. We go to the last frame on 3 seconds and move it in so that it, our whole comp is now white. So that's what we want. We're gonna make a new composition. We're gonna call it main comp. Our settings should work well. We hit OK. Oh, sorry, I did the comp. I did the comp settings. I mean, a new comp. We gonna change that to main comp. Hit OK. So that we have a new comp. So uh, I'm gonna change that to build up. Sorry, guys. So now, okay. Now we're gonna move our text comp and our build comp in our main comp. And we're gonna make a new solid, make it white, hit OK. Go to the effect, trap code, form. And now we're gonna make a few adjustments on this trap code form effect. First of all, we're gonna uh, move the size X to 768, which is our comp size. And the size Y to 158, which is the comp size of our text. And the C to 1. Again, 768. 158 and 1. 
Uh, we go to the layered maps. We're gonna change the color in alpha to text. And the functionality to RGBA, the map over to X and Y. Displacement is all right. The fractal strength we're gonna change to build up and X and Y. Also the disperse we're gonna change to build up and X and Y. We go to the disperse and twist. The disperse should be like 200. And now we go to the fractal field. Uh, we're gonna make the displays like 440. So that's it. We're done. If we shut off our two comps here, we see we have a new text here, right there. And if we move forward, you see, wow, our text is animating out with the cool trap code form particles here going on. You can change that. If you like here, you can change the particles, you can change the size, the visibility, whatever you want. And if you want to add a background to this, just simply click new solid, make it whatever you want, go to the effect, generate ramp, and yeah, do your background, it's pretty simple, it doesn't matter. I just do a quick one to show you how it works and move it beyond these layers so now we have a background and our cool trap code form text is going on here and notice that this affects also 3D so you can do some cool 3D movements in your video I hope you enjoyed this and if you enjoyed you can subscribe to my YouTube channel I will upload more Adobe After Effects tutorials for you guys and if you have any questions or requests just simply click to write a message to me. Alright, thank you. thanks for watching.